Hi, my name is Michael Chin, and I'm the chairman and CEO of BlockMason. BlockMason is a blockchain development company focused on building practical applications on the blockchain because we believe that the next wave of mass adoption will be through uh, consumers and um, it will be through applications that deliver real practical value to consumers. Last year, we completed a successful token sale uh, and created the BlockMason credit protocol. Uh, the credit protocol is a simple ledger to record uh, who owes who, how much, at date, currency, etc. on the blockchain, just as uh, Bitcoin is just a simple ledger of recording who owns how much. Mm, we sold uh, BCPT tokens and BCPT tokens act as a perpetual software license that gives users uh, transaction capacity on the blockchain. And soon we will be releasing the first um, proof of concept uh, of a, a distributed application. Soon we will be releasing the first proof of concept app that's built on top of the credit protocol called LNDR, or as we like to call it, Lender. And Lender is just uh, like a PayPal, um, but in instead of only being able to send um, money immediately or, or a spot payment, um, you can keep balances outstanding. And thus, that's how uh, LNDR uses the credit protocol. With the release of LNDR, it will be the first consumer uh, mobile application built on the blockchain. And we hope um, to uh, to get good uh, adoption from that, and we hope that actually spearheads um, wider adoption of blockchain in general by uh, by you know the average consumer. Block Mason is a blockchain development company focused on building practical distributed applications or DApps uh, on the blockchain. Um, this is because we believe that the next wave of mass adoption of the blockchain will come from consumers and it has to be in a format that consumers are used to such as a mobile app um, and um, uh, consumers need to realize uh, need to be using the, uh, the blockchain without realizing that they're actually using it and for that to happen uh, the blockchain needs to provide like actual value add to, to everybody we we're you know at the end of the day we're a tech company and we can choose to develop on any number of uh, blockchains. Um, we chose to develop on Ethereum because Ethereum uh, is is still the uh, uh, you know the latest you know the greatest um, technology wise and um, it's the it's the kind of most proven. Um, I'll let you translate that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um, and um, um, we've analyzed a bunch of other blockchains like Stellar or Qtum or, or, or Neo, et cetera, or, or, and even Cardano. Um, we feel, you know, it, it, with the blockchain, you, you have to make some sacrifices to, to achieve um, things like um, um, reliability, uh, scalability, and, um, uh, and redundancy um, as well. So, you know, we, we like Ethereum because there are, um, um, uh, it's replicated on thousands of nodes, whereas for a project like Cardano uh, or EOS, um, it's, they just have, uh, you know, like EOS has seven nodes. And um, so if it's, you know, it's actually very centralized um, and it's uh, easily like subject to attacks. We're, we get asked a lot about the scaling issue of Ethereum. Um, we're, we're quite hopeful this year or early next year the Ethereum community will have this solved. Um, for, for our uh, DAP, LNDR, we are currently developing a sidechain solution on Tindermint, um, which is looking very promising. Um, that will you know, certainly bring down um, the transaction costs and bring up the speed. Uh, but uh, you know, with the other upgrades that are coming this year on Ethereum,
um, uh, including you know things like um, a proof of work, et cetera, a proof of stake um, for for scaling. Uh, we're very excited to to be a part of the Ethereum community. With my background in banking and credits, um, for our first project, we decided to tackle the sixty trillion dollar credit and debt industry. Um, unlike some of our competitors, such as uh, Ripio, Salt, um, and Request. Um, uh, we are. We believe that you know f the the first steps need to be built like a recording protocol layer. Um, you know, Ripio, Salt, and Request. They're all trying to solve um, the uh, you know things like peer-to-peer -peer lending or collateralization or enforcement. But uh, you know, as kind of building the fundamental blocks, um, there first needs to be a layer of just simple recording of. Um, who owes who how much. So like how Bitcoin is a distributed ledger of who owns how much. Um, and as you trade the Bitcoins, you just swap the names out. Um, our Block Mason's credit protocol uh, is, also, is a simple ledger of who owes who how much. And including other information like um, time, currency, you know, date, etc., um, and that—that's just you know th that's like the fundamental kind of recording layer, um, and we feel that the you know the other stuff that you know like peer-to-peer -peer lending or a collateralization all, uh, um, and enforcement that can also be that can all be built on the application layer, um, and you know what makes Block Mesa unique is uh, it has to be uh, double confirmed. So, you know, if you want to send a debt to another party, you, you, you initiate it, the other party confirms it, and then it's permanently recorded onto the blockchain. Um, we, we've, we, you know, it's, like, it's kind of funny because um, SALT has uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of loan requests, and um, they don't even have a good way of recording them. And I, I know this because we're talking to them to help provide a solution. So there's, you know, there's clearly um, an opportunity for, for a protocol layer just for recording um, that then, you know, infinite number, as you saw in the video, an infinite number of industries can build additional applications on top of. So as um, a proof of concept of what could be built on top of the credit protocol, uh, we, this month, we will be releasing the first um, distributed application built on top of the credit protocol uh, called LNDR, stands for Lender. And when we release that, it will actually be the first mobile consumer application that's, that's on the blockchain. Um, a lender uh, is, is just like a PayPal um, on an app, but instead of uh, you have to send, uh, no, uh, instead of just sending um, you know, money on the spot. Um, with Lender, you can also keep balances outstanding. Hence, that's how it uses the credit protocol. You can, you know, record um, casual debts between friends, you know, whether it be like for a dinner that you want to share, or if, you know, a group of friends are going on a trip and, you know, one person pays for all the flights and the other for the hotel. Um, you can kind of net debts off e with, with each other. Or you can uh, settle with cryptocurrency like Ethereum or Bitcoin. Um, and Lender will also be a fun way to get cryptocurrencies into the hands of your friends. Because we all have those friends who have been monitoring the space for a couple months or even a year and they haven't gotten around to opening up an exchange account and now uh, sometimes exchanges don't accept applications or there's a two month verification. Um, this is a, a fun way we feel that to also increase adoption um, for the crypto community by getting crypto in the hands of people who don't have it. Um, so with the release of Lender, you'll, uh, sh you should be hearing a lot more about Block Mason going forward. Um, everything kind of in the past, we have not been marketing. And you know, we, we, we really want to kind of like set the trend of you know, marketing an actual product instead of just 
um, kind of marketing your project and a lot of hype. We're like we want to avoid the hype train. Um, so you know now with the release of LNDR, um, you know we've engaged um, uh, professional PR companies and media companies for mainstream uh, uh, articles and coverage uh, because you know we're releasing the the first mobile application on the blockchain, and with that, um, a lot of kind of reporters are are more interested in talking to us. Yeah. Um, you know after the release of Lender. We'll also release a set of libraries and documentation um, for other devs to use if they want to develop mobile apps on the blockchain. As we were developing a lender, we've realized that there's, there's actually no set of existing libraries um, for you know, current developers who, who are trying to make a mobile application that's, but that's also recording and reading uh, and writing to the blockchain. And so, you know, what, and that uh, we'll just release to the community um, uh, as an open source uh, set of libraries. And, you know, with that, we hope to kind of spearhead some more mobile app de uh, development on the blockchain. Um, so, this is towards the end of my keynote. I have a copy, uh, a demo copy of Lender on my mobile phone. So, um, so after this, uh, if you want to take a look at the UX or UI, I'm happy to, to demo it for you. Well, I think, you know, over, the, you know, maybe in a week or two after we release uh, Lender, um, it will be the first mobile, uh, consumer mobile application um, on the blockchain. And, you know, the size of our token sale last year was relatively small. And we're able to achieve and deliver the product in a short period of time. Um, I think the market going forward will start to appreciate uh, people like us more. Um, there are many other projects that, that have raised, you know, multiple times of what we sold. And if you look at their GitHub, and if you, you know, they, they haven't really been doing much, and if you, if you kind of ask them, you know, when will your development, when your apps come out, they don't really know. So I think that's the strongest point of Block Mason is really um, our technology and the, and the fact that we're actually delivering what we're promising. <laughs>